How's it going guys? My name is Mighty Mac and welcome to this channel. Now before this video starts, if you guys can please smash that like button and consider subscribing. It is free and I'm giving you guys some juicy information. So, you know, help a brother out. Help me out, bro. Anyways, let's get into this video. As you know, it's all about the PlayStation 5. The pre-orders have been absolutely crazy. The first week, it was a total flunk. I mean, hey, some people ended up pre-ordering it while some others ended up pre-ordering it as well and then getting an email saying sorry we actually uh gave away too many etc uh some some stuff like that you know yeah but hey we have some news the second wave of playstation 5 uh pre-orders are gonna go live very soon we don't know exact exact when uh people predicted that it was gonna be today i mean hey even on twitter a bunch of the uh say stores accounts have said that they're gonna go live on uh, September 25th and I've been looking all day at the moment and I haven't seen anything there's this good guy on Twitter that is a leaker basically for all PlayStation 5 information and for past PlayStations in the past but he said PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 5 digital edition will be available to pre-order online at GameStop Best Buy Amazon Game Smith's Toys Argos Curry's PC World and other major retailers from September 25th. There's no time yet, but uh, some said it was going to be morning, and uh, the others we just don't know. So honestly, you just have to keep your eye on it. They're not going to really give a time, I don't think, because they don't want to get botted again by having all these bots buy all their PlayStations. Because, you know, that's just unfair, man. Like, come on. And the first wave of PS5 pre-orders literally sold out straight away or honestly the next day before we could even know. Even some sites even crashed under the weight of demand by gamers hungry to lodge their PlayStation 5 pre-order while others crawled to a halt or saw gamers struggle to take their order through checkout. Which, you know, it's a very buggy at the moment. <laughs> so this all occurred and literally... Sony had to apologize for all the shambles and basically what happened and honestly Microsoft had to do the same thing because Xbox Series X pre-orders actually experienced the same stuff. I mean, can you believe that? Xbox having the same issues as PlayStation? <laughs> I'm kidding, I, I love Xbox as well, but you know, P PS5 is in the heart. Some sources that I'm looking up actually say that GameStop have actually already sold out on Wave 2 today with uh, the PS5 orders, but... Honestly, I haven't seen any being restocked in any of the stores near me. Maybe that's just me. Uh, I don't know. Who knows? But anyways, guys, I'm going to tell you how you can actually try and stay on top of this stuff as much as you can. So you can try and get the next PS5 pre-order. Maybe, say, week 3 releases or week 2, like even now. Honestly, some other stores haven't even uh, renewed their websites or stores at the moment. And... Uh, you have to literally just keep an eye on it like every second and I'm sure it's just going to be sold out within the next say 10 minutes of it being restocked or not. You never know. It's just insane. you got to be really lucky right now to actually manage to get one PS5 pre-order. It's going to be insane boys. It's going to be insane. Anyways, one way you can guys keep on top of the PS5 pre-orders is honestly follow a bunch of retailer stores. Keep googling it. Keep uh, having their websites open. For me, I already have all my links open. Keep refreshing the pages, how I do it. I follow their Twitters as well to try and see when they will uh, have a new update on the PS5s or not. But one thing we can't say is we can't guarantee that retailers will have the PS5 or the PS5 Digital Edition in stock. It can be either or, it can be separate, you don't know. It could be even both. But, yes. Anyways, guys, following that, you just have to literally keep an eye on every goddamn store. Just keep your eyes glued to it, to your screens. Just keep refreshing the pages, and who knows, you might end up being lucky. So right now, in the heart of week two of PS5 pre-orders, retailers are currently scrambling to secure this extra stock in the USA, UK, and Australia. And the truth is, the second wave of consoles could be made available at any time over the next few days or even hours. So honestly, it could even come out say tomorrow over the weekend you just have to stay on top of it this is wave two it has just started and you just have to get lucky you know so hopefully you guys won't hate in this video if you guys don't get unlucky i mean i just tried to give you guys as much information as i can and i can't really give any more it's just based on luck and just literally looking up on the websites if they will have it at that time or not you know it's just the luck of the draw ladies and gents 
So guys, that is it. I can't really show you how to actually buy it um, because, you know, I can't even do it myself. I don't have it yet, but you just go to their website, look it up, click it, and then you just go through the whole process. Anyways, yeah, good luck to all you guys trying to get the PS5. Good luck to myself as well. You know, let the, let the better man of luck win, really. Anyways, guys, that is it for the video. So if you have enjoyed this, uh, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. I'll see you guys again next time. Have a good one and goodbye.